Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm here to deck profile my October format hero deck profile. I managed to get first of my locals with this today. I ended up getting a buy in the first round, which is uh, still a win, we'll take it. And then we beat Drytron and we beat Eldritch. So, that was a pretty good day. Jumping into the monsters, we have our standard triple Ferris with our double increase package. Uh, I do actually side this out every now and again and just have the one. It's a little greedy, but playing 45 card deck, main deck, so it's not too often that you even draw the one copy. And then we're playing Triple Stratos to search our starters, usually searching the Ferris, sometimes the Honest Neos, or popping back row. Then we're playing the Double Vion to be another good normal summon starter or special off of increase since this card I've been finding myself actually just going by on dump shadow miss grab liquid poly and then try to play from there these days uh, it doesn't come up too much of an issue going that route but it definitely has helped me on brick hands and then two shadow mists to dump usually off the Vion or special to search your mass changes Pretty self-explanatory there. Then I am playing one Solid Soldier. Solid Soldier is there to be an extender and to get us the mass change search and stuff. It hasn't come up much, but it's kind of nice to have it. Worst, it's just another hero discard fodder for like Ferris, so not too terrible. Then we're playing the Destiny Heroes of one Celestial. I like this one to draw as a comeback mechanic or to bait an Ash and then try to play through the turn past that. The one Dyna tag to make your monster gain the 1000 to pop for Dangerous, I mean the Deadly guy, or Dystopia, sorry. Two Mallies, self-explanatory, and one Plasma, easy side out if it doesn't work in the matchup, and can steal games. I also have the one of Liquid and Honest Neos that I forgot to put with the rest of the heroes. Moving on to our hand traps. I'm meaning two ash, two droll. I am playing cross out so I'm not maxed out on those and they're not that useful in the sense of it being basically once per turns but I do also play imperms as another form of hand trap so I definitely still have a good amount to go into if I go second or have cards to stop them when I go first. And then jumping into our spells. Hero lives. Triple fusion destiny. Triple mass change. Very standard hero stuff with the poly and miracle fusion. And then for our searchers. The one Rhoda and I am playing double e-call. You could just cut the e-calls to make this a smaller deck but I figured having the bigger deck to make us draw cross out targets less often would be kind of nice and it's a very easy side out if you really want to if you're afraid of drawing lock and then one called by stop hand traps the double cross out like more hand traps usually to stop or if you want to stop dark ruler no more is on your dark law going games two and three usually when they go second then double triple T because you get hand trapped you can either rip a card to prevent them from playing or you can try to draw to go more dig for combo or cards to stop your opponent. And then lastly double cyclone because my locals has a mystic mind player who always plays and we don't want to lose the matchup in game one. It's also decent. It came up. I didn't actually draw it against Elledge the whole time but I did draw red reboot which won me games. Going into our extra deck I am playing double cross crusader. Very good starter or extender slash searcher in the deck. I am playing one wonder driver to extend combo. It definitely came up. It won me games for follow-up turns to get the poly or miracle fusion back from my graveyard. The one dread decimator since it is a link three that helps you win games and has piercing and buffs your attack on the stuff it points to. The one Verte I am playing for the Fusion Destiny in case you brick. You can just go Solid Soldier Stratos and like make that or something. Solid Soldier Vion, Solid Soldier, literally any hero. It's kind of nice and it's a decent card to just 
use, or you can even main phase to it. Then we're playing double dark laws, but mass change, playing the acid, and we're also playing blast. Blast for if they Valor your shadow, so you can just chain mass change. It's also okay if I, with bouncing stuff and solid overall acid blow back row. You're playing the absolute zero and sunrise. Zero is your typical miracle fusion target for the liquid soldier. Usually on your second turn as a follow up play, you can make it going first if you want to do the zero mass change play into acid. Sunrise is always your go to first fusion to get your miracle fusion for. OTKs and follow-up plays, and then I do play one Escuridal in case you get Dark Locked. It is a nice polymerization target. And then we have Dystopia and Dangerous as our two Destiny Hero targets. This is the one part of the one card combo for the Mask Change Dark Law play. And this is just Burn and or Quick Effect Pop. And then we have Trinity to round it off. I did actually win a game the other week with Trinity plus Honest Neos on a Dragoon when their life was lowered. And lastly we're going to go into our side deck real quick. We have Triple Lance here for the Tri-Brigade matchup and PK and other roguelike things that vanish a lot. Also comes up against mine to stop the extravs and stuff because I know he plays it. And then the extra copy of Cyclone so I can have more back row removal with the Feather Duster and Red Reboot. Those are also paired with Lightning Storm because back row is a pain, but Lightning Storm can also pop monsters so it does come up sometimes. Then I'm playing Triple Dark Ruler, don't have droplets but Dark Ruler is still a good card, and the Double Nibiru for combo decks, also crossed out target, and then third copy of talents, and the ghost bell which is kind of also a crossed out target. I was a little lazy to put in the third draw, but against Strytron, this plus this, which I actually cited in as a cross out target and I got stopped combo so it actually came up where I won the game because of that. It's kind of funny, so I might just keep the one bell in. It's a pretty solid card overall regardless, so it's kind of nice. And yeah, it does kind of hurt sometimes when you do get belled, so it's honestly not terrible. I have one, thanks to Crossout existing, but if I did get my third copy of Crossout, the Imperm is probably going to go to two most likely, or I would cut maybe an e-call for it. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Thank you guys for watching, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, any other deck choices that you guys like to use, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys later.